I really loved to pray. I loved the Lord. I loved going to church when I was young. So I did have a faith and I did have a relationship with God. Um, but by my junior year, it was even less of a concern of mine. I was far more interested in getting a boy to love me than God to love me. I felt like I was running from thing to thing. I was going from job to job, from boyfriend to boyfriend. And it was a lot of me trying to be fulfilled, trying to fill myself, fill a hole that I, I know I had. By my senior year, I completely fell away. I went away on a mandatory retreat for seniors. And the first night, there was a reading of the parable of the prodigal son. And I was sitting there listening to it. I felt a strong sense that the Lord said, when you get home, you need to tell your mom everything that you've done. I resisted it because I knew that if I told my mom everything I'd been doing, she would probably have me leave the house. <laughs> and the Lord just as strongly said, she'll receive you as the father did in the story of the prodigal son. I read out to my mom everything I did and with all excuses and justifications included and she received me back. The Lord was really present to me, really close to me, and made it very easy to turn to him all the time. And I did. I turned to him as often as I could. Unfortunately, after my conversion experience my senior year, I went to college and fell away again. So there was another need for God to pull me out of the muck I was getting myself into. I went to a conference with a Christian outreach. The Saturday night prayer meeting, there was a song played called Yes, and I just was paying attention to what the lyrics were, and I thought, they look so happy. I should try saying yes, like they're saying yes. And I just said, yes, Lord, whatever yes means, whatever you can do to make me that happy, yes. And once again, I was a bubbling pool. I was sobbing. I was running to the nearest priest to go to confession, and within 10 minutes, just everything was different. The Lord was taking my yes very seriously. I feel like a completely different person. I hope I am for the most part, a different person because I just feel a closeness to God. And even though it's not the same as when I was first turning back to him and he was holding my hand, it's not that same um, relationship exactly, but there's, there's this deep sense that the Lord is in charge. He wants me here and he just keeps making me more happy than I've ever been. I can't, I can hardly contain myself. <laughs> the story of the prodigal son is very significant for me because it was the first time that I heard the Lord speak. The great thing that uh, keeps coming up is not just the message that God is as loving and forgiving as that Father is, but that we're called to love and forgive that much. Um, thankfully, I had a mother who could emulate that, who received me right back. It's not that you find affirmation from others. It's not that you need to find your self-worth in others. God will use others. He often does. but when you find that your worth is in the fact that Christ died for you, then, I mean, nothing can touch that. Nothing can make you say you're worthless when someone died for you who was worth more than anything.